Hey guys, so I'm getting out of here early today. It's Friday. I just gave my car a quick rinse with a little bit of the foaming wash I put in a bucket and just threw over it. So it's not a good wash. It's already got watermarks on it. Um, but my, my ceramic stuff arrived today. So I'll go into that. Let me just clear the lens. Okay, so this car had a very basic clean from Subaru. Last night I could see, I hosed it down and you can't see it now, but I could just see all scratch marks like from when they washed the car, just like fine scratches. So the whole, I'm, I don't know much about ceramic yet, but I know one thing. It's not about applying ceramic coating that's in a little bottle that big. It's about the prep, okay? The more marks on the car, the more you're gonna have to prep it from new. And that, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned, is the benefit of getting like whatever dealer treatment when the car's brand new. Now, with ceramic, there's like, I'm not gonna go into the details now, but there's one year, three year, five year, and eight year. I'm pretty sure I got the five year one. So, five year coding, okay. How I came across this product, I have no idea, but it's made in Japan, they answered my emails, they're across the bridge here. Uh, then the guy called me and he was just awesome. Like he knew, and again, don't quote me till I confirm, but that the room wax would do the Alcantara fake suede shit. Now. Just quickly about the fake suede shit. I thought it's an extremely durable uh, fabric um, because it's everywhere in cars. No, it's not. It's very fragile. It gets stained when it gets wet. And now if you recall, because I do, that the colors of wet pants in the rain bleed straight through onto it. So I can't remember which cars I've seen with that Alcantara, but yeah, leather's definitely more durable. It's very sensitive to wetness. Apparently, you only clean it with water. Now, okay, did I go all out? Sort of. I was actually going to get away with, honestly, I would have been happy with it. This fine crystal spray. Okay, now. He gave it to me. So the guy just gave me stuff amazing he, he he gave it to me for free uh he gave me uh, as well uh he gave me some gifts in here i'm sure he gave me a couple of these sponges now as you can see this is the product okay now is it better is it worse i don't know but i know one thing when the japanese do something they do it right okay now they have on the website whatever technical information you need from the Kanazawa Institute of Testing or whatever the, the agency in Japan and that you know it's a, it's a coating that that protects for the um, specified time okay body clean 800 mil now I, I've not looked at any of this but I wanted to show you how it comes so he was great he's like no 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 take all the um take the sponges out of your cart because it comes with it now this is a bottle cap Okay, for the Crystal Glow 5 year coating. And if you remember, I said in another video, they sent me an email. One of them seals by body contact, the other seals by atmospheric exposure, as you can see here. So the whole thing with this thing is like, I already dropped the sponge when I was washing my car. Like, it's got to be spotless. You can't drop the bottle. You have to tip it and do exactly how they say, or what they say. Now, for example, body clean. Now, that's a basic car wash. Okay. Okay. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Look at this. I mean, it's got the M... Kanagawa, I was there. 
it's near Tokyo, I think. There they are. Okay, unlike Cobb, that are boasting about Australian access port support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's their phone number? It's in California, right? So these are the sort of guys I like to support. I have my reasons. I used to be a big eBay seller. Uh, why I don't touch eBay? Um, eBay are like caused a lot of problems for me. So I refuse to buy. I don't deal with eBay and PayPal. I like to support local businesses where possible. Okay. Now, I did go all out here because I'm making the videos and look, considering the promo guard I paid for on the last car that wasn't done, that I had to have done here by 3M, uh, this is a bargain. So, um, I was going to get away. Now, he's, he's given me the fine crystal for free, but honestly, okay, I shouldn't tell you this. I just did a little test. I had to. So, you're meant to put it on wet. Okay, I just put like a drop of the stuff here and it is like, look at this. Yep. Uh, well, it's really, really smooth. So I just put a, you can see that. Can you see that? So I put a little bit there. Now fine crystal is when it's damp to get the car. Okay, fine crystal, this is great. I mean, I would I would just, honestly, if you're gonna be, if you're on a budget and you're on time, and mate, just get the fine crystal. It works, I can feel it. Oh, they're using a Fiat 500, what a disgrace. <laughs> okay, the fine crystal is a glass coating agent for the car body. While the surface is wet and unwiped, directly spray and apply horizontally. Finish by wiping the remaining moisture off. Unevenness is scaling, so all this is about even expo even coating. Now, the fine crystal. The fine crystal came in this box. That's thirty nine ninety five, I think, or maybe twenty nine ninety five. They also have testings, right? Wheel crystal. Okay, the wheel crystal again. Okay, they all come with this cap thing. And I was going to like Google, how do you do it? How do you do it? Well, it's all here. Okay, I'm going to now look off the camera. Rinse off the... Wrap the coating. That's for the wheels. Good day. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so so I'm not. I don't know when I'm going to do this, um, but I will try and do it before I go away. So, what I got here, if you want a quick solution, I know I haven't used it, or any, I'm telling you guys, just get the fine crystal. Get a body clean. Now, what they've sent here was a wax off. This is something supplementary. As the dealer would have put a wax on it and they did it so unevenly. It was like the water was sticking to half the car. Okay, wax off, degrease up. Rinse off, wipe off. Allow the liquid to soak into the cloth. All right, you've got to work it with the cloth. Where this, okay, this came from here. I'm so limited on space. Soon when I move, hopefully one day we will have a better, cleaner shop with a nice floor and lots of benches. Now this is the stuff there, the coating for the interior, but he said to put on the Alcantara. I'll confirm that before I do. So Japanese, room wax. All right, clean up any fouling, soak it in, finish by dry clean cloth. So that, that clean cloth um, isn't in here, but they are all through there, I guess. 
Uh, that's the wheel crystal. That's the window crystal. So I guess that's like Rainex. That's the crystal glow. So, now I noticed they sold out of their buffers because see, when you've got lots of scratches and whatever, you've got to buff them out. Rinse. Dry, wipe, what, thanks man. Wipe well so that no moisture remains. No worries dude. No, go for it. No moisture remains. So you, that's what you see on YouTube when they do it. So it's not about applying it. It's about the pre, the, the getting the car ready um, to apply it. What's that one? Okay, wax it off. I'm confused. Got body clean. Uh, that, okay, so the bloke explained something to me about different types of. Thanks, man. Have a good weekend. Are you there next week? Uh, hopefully not, but yeah, probably. You too. See you then, man. Bye. Okay, so he's explained there's three different types of waxes. One of them will make the tires go hard. I don't know. This is the one. Okay. Dry it, spray it, no excessive application. What's that? Okay, that's a little trial body clean. Wax off, body clean. So basic wash, body clean, basic wash. So he's given me a little trial as well. Um, so confusing, okay. So that's that. Uh, that's a clay bar I bought. I've never ever used a clay bar. So in prepping the vehicle, uh, I've just looked around the car. I can't see any stone chips. Like people are saying they drive it at 5Ks home and the whole car's covered in stone chips. I don't really have that, but I saw fine scratches last night. And apparently, I mean, this stuff locks molecular, like a molecular locking bond onto the paint. So if you've got something underneath, uh, it, it's gonna it's gonna be locked in there. Now, this environment that I'm in is absolutely disastrous. Right, disastrous. Look at that. Look at the dust. It, this is the shit I sneeze on all day. So these little fur things are gonna be down I'll make you a video in a few weeks when they finally arrive. All those little... Can you see the, the fallout in this area? Check it out. I've just washed the car. Okay, so it's beginning. Um, I don't know if you can see it. The whole car's covered in fine little hairs and they're from the trees. There, see that? So I can't do it here. I, I mean, the only way, even then, the dust blows through the crevices in the roof. Like, I could wet the whole shop down. It's impossible. So I'll be doing this maybe in my building or, um, yeah, on a, on a wind-free night, I'll get away doing it in my building. But it's very obvious you've got to do one section at a time. So you'll be cleaning and there's even, I didn't buy it, but there's stuff to remove iron, iron filings. This seems to be sort of the industry standard with this stuff i'm going to now put this stuff away um that's them and i mean honestly like it's gonna be great <laughs> it's gonna be great i can feel it so i don't know if it's 24 hours to wait but like i just put two drops of that crystal fine net so let's use my water from the Dolomites. So 
that's how I got the car. Like, you can see. See? All right, I also put it here. I didn't even use any. Didn't even use two drops. Now bear in mind, okay, so there's tiny droplets there. Bear in mind the, the foaming wash I used, it's like a prep wash in a way, but it's not. So it, it seems to clean everything off the car, especially when used with the gurney. I'll show you that now for the people that asked. Oh my God, this is so boring, isn't it? Terrible video. Gen 2 foam gun, right? Now, it does have a sort of hyper foaming wash. All right. Oh, I've lost the spec sheet for it or so that's the stuff I use, and that does put some type of a final coat on the car, uh, a, a, some sort of a protective coat. Bear in mind that is designed for dealers. Okay. It is designed for dealers um, to give the car a shine and not have people touching sponges on the car. So it's quite strong, but... It definitely gives the car some sort of a some sort of a shine and that's that uh this this will be it's a very long and boring video but that's just the introduction to the products i guess i won't be doing that again um when i do the car i i won't be making a video about how to do it even if i use my panasonic lumix it will not pause repeatedly reliably so I don't have the capacity to do it. Um, and it's all over the internet. It's all about the prep. I'm not sure if I need to get a buff buffer. I don't think so. Like a good... Um, okay, so th there's nothing here to remove swell marks and dirt but that clay bar. Okay, now I don't know which way to use it, to wax off and then clay bar. I don't know, I'll find out. So, yeah, Sencha. Um, I think this is going to be great. How much is... 50 mils. How funny. 50 mils. Right. So, yeah, like... <laughs> rinse off. Pour about... Okay, so they're telling you to use a body clean. Yeah, while the surface is wet. You apply the fine crystal while wet and then hose it off and then finish. Okay. All right, guys, so hope it helps.